Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached the last section of this chapter two, total joint coordination. When you will be able to use the information from chapter one and chapter two and being able to combine them, therefore personal balance, balance of the couple, and balance of movement, you should feel in your body a total activity of joint. This activity is requested in order to keep a constant vertical weight fall. So every single time I am using my body, I feel a total usage of every single joint in the body. And the energy created by the rotation of all these joints, it's always ending downwards in order to respect gravitational force and in order to feel the vertical weight fall. So you can see that as I move my body, I am always very aware of bending the body and not trying to copy the same movements, but stretching at the same time. So let me introduce you a dear friend, which will help you understand how we can coordinate the body. The name of our dear friend is Isidoro. As you can see, the four upper points relate to the four upper points in the body. One, two, three, and four. The center, center wa? it's representing the vertical weight fall. The four points at the bottom, one, two, three, and four represent my hips. So one and two and three and four. If we look at Isidoro moving, you can see that every single joint is now involved in keeping the central part as still as possible. So let's put Isidoro at rest and let's now see how the body can work in the same way. So again, let's use visualization. So one, two, three, upper shoulder blade, four, upper shoulder blade. Lower hip, lower hip, upper hip, upper hip. Remember, I am always talking about joints, therefore bones. So we now have four points at the top, four points at the center. And just to make it a little more complex, four points on our feet. Where are these four points? On my foot, if this is my foot, one, two, three, and four. Now, by creating this vision of four, eight, 12 moving parts, I can now create a total relationship from my foot pressure. And when I describe foot pressure, I mean the toes creating different angle of pressure on the floor. So I create a relationship between the foot pressure, the hip activity, and the shoulder activity. In order to create this connection and this relationship and this coordination, of course, I need to include every single joint in my body. And as we mentioned on chapter one, the spine has a very strong influence on this activity. So ladies and gentlemen, I need to be able to use all my body in every possible way in order to protect my vertical weight fall. At the muscle level, I'm constantly aware of my feet creating foot pressure on the floor in order to modify the activity in my body. So I can pull the floor with my toes, I can push the floor with my toes, and as you can see, this creates a movement 
in every part of my body. If I want to go to the left, I will push the floor to the right. If I want to go to the right, I will push the floor to the left. No different from swimming. So the effort of my foot pressure, it's always opposite to my direction of movement. This will create an upward feel through the body because of a pressure into the floor. Not a pressure from my legs, but a pressure from my toes. It is a lovely image, the one of thinking of the body standing still and of the floor being pushed away from you, under you. At the same time, from the upper body, I will now create a down force by bending the joints, by rotating the joint, bending the body. So to constantly have these two forces working together, towards each other. So what I do not want to do, I do not want to split these forces. Therefore, I do not want to work with my legs downwards and with my body upwards. This creates the two forces to separate. This we do not want. This makes us weak and non able to coordinate correctly. So if I want to sum up the feeling I have in my body when I dance, the only part where I'm consciously physical and muscular are my toes. In every part of the body, I am totally aware of joints activity, counter rotations in order to feel the weight. Therefore, if we take this feather step again as an example, my feet will pull me through by pulling the floor under me. But they will not just pull in a straight manner. They will have many different kind of angles in order to make every other joint in my body respond. At the same time, from the top of my body, I will now bend the body downwards and create down force created by gravity, inertia, centrifugal and centripetal force. So that again, I create this very strong relationship within my body. So the body would be bending, compressing. You can see my upper body is now compressing to my receiving leg. As I transfer weight, the foot is pulling. My upper body is still compressing downwards to create this very, very strong feel of compact energy flow. So the body does not feel compact. The body feels with many satellites moving, satellites being every single joint in the body. But all the energies created are all channeled in a very compact way. This allows for freedom and power at the same time. So I can be free and powerful all the time, whichever step I may choose to dance. I think you will probably be able to see on this video these energies crossing over 